you found this video, chances are you've got a Volvo TAC that has an hour meter on it that no longer works. This is a common failure on a lot of them, and we're going to fix it. The part I'll link in the description I got off of eBay for $26 shipped from China. Takes a little bit, but it's worth it. First order of business here when you remove the trim ring on the front of the TAC. Now to do that, it's just a quarter turn. Slide out. Next, which it's not the greatest way to do it, but you need to be very careful. If you can get a grip on it with a pair of channel locks on the outside of the lens without damaging anything, you will give it a slight turn and pull to remove the lens cover. Now, when you remove the studs from the back of the gauge, I've got one removed already. Now we're gonna remove the other one. You can use it with channel locks as well or the deep wall socket onto there. If you use channel locks, you need to be careful not to damage these threads because we do need them. little twist and the whole gauge comes out of the housing. Next we remove the needle off the gauge here. Make sure you're in its rest position very gently. Grab it on the end of the shaft and use your fingers against the gauge display a little bit to wedge and pull up. You don't want to pull on the white needle part itself because it is just very thin sheet metal. Next inside each of these holes here, one, two, Get that the camera. There's a third hole there. There's a small flathead screw that we need to remove. I'm going to separate the two halves. You know, see the hour meter has a ribbon cable there. Very carefully without damaging the connector itself or the existing ribbon cable, unplug it. Like so. Now, at this point, I would verify that your new part matches your old part. Now, the ribbon cable itself may be a different color, but if you look at the dimensions of it, they look about the same size. Now the one on the gauge is facing downwards, this one's facing upwards. But if you see, they're about the same size. The ribbon cable's got the same number of pins, about the same length. I think we're gonna be fine and we can continue on. Now in order to get the old LCD screen removed from the display of the tack cover, we got these two screws on the front here. Careful without scratching anything, find an edge without making a huge mess to pry up on that LCD screen. It should have adhesive on it and I am lucky here I do have adhesive on the back of mine. So it should be a direct drop in, don't have to worry about gluing anything, lightly set it in. Now we could go back to reassembly. Now when reinstalling the needle here, you want to put it onto the shaft just enough to get friction on that stepper driver. So you, you can feel it stopping there. You want to just get it to right where that gauge used to rest at. And then press it back on, rest away. So it's on there nice and firm. Gauge stopping. It looks about where it was stopped before. 